who wore Nike Outflies, which were released today, I believe. I'm wondering, no? Anything else? I'll the paper fly. Two early paper flies. Okay, so two early outflies, one more paper fly. How do you think, um, if they did, their shoes affected the race, and do you think that they helped your performance? I mean, again, you know, kind of like I said earlier, uh, I, I wear those shoes because they're the, what feel the best on my feet. Um, and uh, again, you know, I think that they're not giving you anything that you're not putting your, into the ground yourself. You know, you're not getting 110% of your energy back. You're, you're more efficient, but it's just that you're getting more, you're not losing as much energy. You know, that's always been the way that I've looked at those shoes. And, um, you know, it, for me, it comes down to my training and, and all the hard work. You know, you can't just put those shoes on anybody and it doesn't turn them into Superman. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, World Athletics, I think, came out you know, pretty definitively. They said they're fine, and uh, so I, I chose to wear them because they feel what's best for me, and uh, I'm happy I did. You know, my legs feel really good, and felt good running the race, and uh, hopefully I'll feel good afterwards. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be a little bit sore. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think it, it made a lot of people probably a little bit fresher to move over the second half. Um, I, would, I didn't make the decision until about yesterday. I did strides them, and I was choosing between the, the next percent, which is what I want Chicago, and the Alpha Fly. Um, and kind of like Dan said, they felt just a little bit better on my feet. Um, I'm a little bit more of a heel striker, so the, the transition is a little bit better for me. Um, I know that pretty much everybody that was going to be in contention had some sort of, you know, shoe in the plate and a lot of foam to it. Um, I only really have access to the numbers that have kind of been put out, and so I think in terms of the percentage increase, the yeah, price maybe increasing that a little bit, but I imagine with all of these new prototypes, they're, they're closing the gap. Uh, I would prefer not to think that my, my presence on this team is due to having a better shoe. I would like to think it's my training and I know that I'm coming into this in better shape than I ever have and on the women's side there was one vapor fly but also a, a, a local model and a talking model so I don't think it is the huge performance advantage or yeah advantage that it's kind of being made out to be uh, but I think there's no question that play the shoes are kind of changing the face of the game I think if you're not in one of those whatever brand it is you're, you're probably giving yourself a disadvantage there's really any way to argue against that at this point. You guys, the last two questions are both here and then later. Uh, I'm Elias Fogler from the Southerner. And um, so, Galen and Jake, you guys both took off uh, a significant amount of time in the past couple of years um, from running the marathon. Do you think that uh, more recovery time and like less racing is a strategy that you'll employ in the future, although it wasn't your, your, first, your first choice? And, is this something that you see other marathon racers uh, employing as well? By time off, do you mean the three years I spent trying to rehab my injury? Um, I would not recommend that, nor would I do that again. Um, in fact, that was one of my main concerns is I really wish I had another healthy buildup before Chicago to kind of cycle like through some things. I think so long as you're staying consistent and just constantly building those miles and you're not giving yourself a setback, I would probably prefer to go to that route rather than be constantly rehabbing and out of shape like I was. So, no, I do not see that as an advantage and I would not recommend it to somebody. Uh, I mean, yeah, you probably shouldn't be racing like five marathons in a year. You think that way you kind of as a side note, but like, uh, yeah, I, I think there are better routes to success. If I'm not mistaken, I think we had the same surgery, right? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't wasn't by choice that I didn't race a lot over the last year and a half. Uh, and certainly, you know, I think it's pretty standard. You know, the most top marathon in the room, marathon in the spring, marathon in the fall. Um, you know, you maybe do some halves or some 10k road races, 10 mile road races, whatever it is. Um, but um, yeah, I think it's. I think recovery is, is certainly becoming a bigger thing. I think people are realizing more and more the importance of, of recovery, you know, in the short term and in the long term. You know, you 
you can only train as hard as you can recover from your past workout. Um, so, you know, doing all those little things, whether it's icing, sleeping, um, whatever it is, you know, to, to get your legs ready to come back. I, th I think that's the biggest thing. And, and certainly after a marathon, when you put together such a big effort, um, like everybody today, uh, you want to make sure you take the proper time to let your body rest, you know, let your body heal, and, and let your mind calm down and rest. You know, emotionally, it's important to take that time off as well, too, I think. Um, before you get back on, because especially after a race like this, you know, you're, you're trying to take your training to the next level and train that much harder and getting ready for the Olympics. And if you don't take that time to recover from a race like this before you start pushing again, you know, you're kind of starting in a little bit of a hole and, and then you start beating your body up, beating your mind up with all the heavy training you're doing. And you, you're not able to get to that next level. So certainly it's important that you take the time to, to recover before you before you get going again. And it's going to be a big block of training. You know, I, I assume for all of us before the next Olympics. Last two questions. 